today we're going to be taking a deep dive into a three-unit property in the Cleveland market. Steve and Natalie, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we work together, right? You get to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one to start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios. And if you buy things here in the Cleveland market, my team will be able to represent you as far as buyer agency goes in the purchase of the property. Then we'll handle your property management, your maintenance, your construction, your landscaping, property insurance, and title insurance, right? It's a one-stop shop. Uh, or, you know, you have the ability to just take the education and, and do do whatever you want with it, right? It's a a la carte service that has the ability to be a top-to-bottom turnkey solution, right? And uh, who I'm working with today, right? A couple uh, international teachers, Steve and Natalie, right? You guys are teachers, and you guys have been traveling the globe teaching English as a second language and currently you guys are living in Mexico right so it's very important for you guys in your portfolio uh, to be running on autopilot right you need a a team on the ground because you're never gonna be here on the ground and where your ground is it's changing right you're going from country to country so you need people to take care of your investments and that's why you came to Holton Wise we looked at some other uh, properties those deals didn't go through so we're continuing on and uh, continuing to make a push look for uh, some properties for you guys and uh, the property I got today I think you guys are gonna like it it checks some of your boxes but uh, admittedly it doesn't check all your boxes right you guys were really keen on uh, getting a three or four unit property right you're like hey man we really want to get as many units as we can and still qualify for that 30-year traditional mortgage right to qualify for that 30-year traditional mortgage guys you can do properties between one and four units right the thing is here in the Cleveland market we don't really have a lot of three and four unit buildings right the inventory is very very sparse right we have a decent chunk of duplexes okay so there's gonna be duplexes out there guys but uh, these quads triplexes they are few and far between so when the rare situation when one pops up you guys it's very prudent uh, of you to jump on them and jump on them quickly and because of that I thought this would work one other thing though you guys were like hey CB neighborhoods this is a neighborhood I would consider a D neighborhood right now normally I wouldn't present this to you uh, being a D neighborhood when you said CB but there's two reasons I did that. Number one, I just discussed. We don't have a lot of triplexes and quads, right? So if you were just looking for duplexes, I would have found you something in, in, in your, uh, your grade level, right? But because it's going to be very rare that I find you something, I need to know if you're going to be willing to make... Uh, you know, you're going to willing to compromise on the grade level or if you're going to compromise on the unit count, right? Uh, so you're probably going to, you know, after this video, you're either going to be like, yeah, let's go down this grade level and do this deal or no, let's stick to this grade level. But you know what? We're totally cool doing duplexes. We know quads probably aren't popping up, right? And then the other reason I thought this would be worth talking about is because this particular D-class neighborhood is my favorite D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. It's very close to uh, Metro Health right metro health they are currently committed to investing a billion dollars into their campus as well as the surrounding low-income neighborhood right and it's also directly bordering really nice a grade gentrified neighborhoods in cleveland ohio city tremont gordon square edgewater right so as far as the locale and the fact that there's a billion dollar injection coming in uh to this neighborhood i really really liked it so for all those reasons i was like yo I think this is definitely worth talking to Steve and Natalie about. And it is a duplex that has a third unit, the third unit being a full-on warehouse. I'm not talking about just like a garage. No, no, no. I'm talking this is like an actual freaking warehouse. Okay, look at the size of this sucker, right? So you get a duplex and a massive warehouse, and they have listed it. 
$119,900. They just put it on the uh, market about two months ago. It was on the market, and then it went off the market. Now it's back available, right? And as far as what you would get with this property, right? We have one unit as a 3-1, which is currently rented at 650. Now, it's important to note, too, that that 650, that is below market rent. We should be able to get that rent up to 800, but I didn't even calculate for that in your projections here, right? I just went with the existing rent, which is 650, and then the warehouse is currently being rented for 600, and then we have a vacant unit, which will rent for 600 when we fix it up, right? So that's 1850 a month in rent. As far as that vacant unit goes, we got to fix it up, guys. We got to put some work into it, right? You know, it's just, it, it, it's old, it's crummy, right? We got these, like, old cabinetry, like this one-piece metal cabinet. These are probably all rusted out. The floor looks like shit. The walls look like shit. I mean, it's it's not it's not great in there. It's a smaller unit, but, like, you know, we got the old shag carpet in there. Like, that's not going to work, right? So what we need to do is totally redo that unit. We need to redo the fixtures in the kitchen. We need to do, we need a fixture redo the fixtures in the kitchen in the bath totally stumbling on my words there in addition we're going to pull that shag carpet we're going to repaint all the walls agreeable gray patch any holes refinish those hardwoods we got to get this unit ready to go to a section eight tenant right remember i love this neighborhood but it's a d-class neighborhood right and uh you know d-class neighborhoods they come with additional risk like people getting evicted because they didn't pay their rent so what i like to do is i like to circumvent that risk guys i circumvent that risk by going with the section Section 8 program. Hell, living in the, the day and age of corona, I think it's even more important, right? You can't can't lose your job uh, because of coronavirus if you're on the Section 8 program, right? That's that's how your rent's getting paid, okay? So the government guaranteed rent is important. So with all of that, to be able to get it renting for $600 a month to a Section 8 tenant, we need about $15,000 in repairs. In addition to the $15,000 in repairs, of course, we need to buy the deal. I'd like to pick it up for $110. I think we could probably negotiate it down to $110. That would be a total investment of $125, right? We're not dealing with anything that is by any means what I would consider turnkey, right? We need to put in the initial $15,000 to get it rent ready. Uh, but then other than that, just so you know, what you have is you don't have any immediate repairs you need to do, but nothing is brand new, right? You don't have new roofs on these buildings. You don't have new furnaces, new hot water tanks, things of that nature. So no... Uh, down the road, you're going to eventually need to uh, replace that stuff. But we calculate for that, okay? We calculate for that. Of the 1850 that comes in, I anticipate 718 going out, right? And right there, you see it. We're saving $744 a year for our capital expenditures, right? So when you get your uh, inspection, because after, uh, if you decide you want to move forward, after we make an offer, of course, we want to make it contingent on a third-party home inspection. I just don't want you to be shocked and surprised when the home inspector comes back and he's like, yo, your roof's pretty old. Your furnaces are old. Your hot water tank's old. I know. It's all baked into the cake, right? I've calculated for it. I've got $744 a year that you're saving to eventually replace those items when the time comes. You don't have to do any of that right now. It's as these items fail. In addition, it's baked into the cake as far as the price of the property, what I think we're offering. So know that I've calculated all that, okay? After all that said and done, though, I believe this thing should make you guys approximately 13 G's a year after calculating for all that stuff. And then with your $125,000 investment, that's an 11 cap. And if we finance this th through a traditional loan, you're going to need to put down 27500 And because you also had to put up an initial capital investment of 15k to get the other unit rented you know you got a total cash outlay into this investment of 42 g's which is far below your budget i know you guys are working with about 300,000. that would net you guys out a 22.2 percent cash on cash return so very very rare to get something like this and the cool thing about this right is in real estate right residential real estate you got you know two units and then you add a third unit right well what does that usually do that third unit usually adds additional water costs additional furnace additional hot water tank additional uh turnover costs tenants messing it up having to redo that unit right the cool thing here is we don't really see any of that right we don't see a lot of increased costs because our third unit's not a tenant's uh home 
right? It doesn't need a fridge. It doesn't need a furnace. It doesn't need a hot water tank. It doesn't uh, need all that stuff, right? We don't have to repaint the walls when tenants turn over because it's a warehouse, right? It's just a big, big concrete structure for storage. So not a lot of upkeep, not a lot of maintenance costs dealing with that structure. So you get the good, which is increased rent, 600 because that warehouse is so damn big. It's bringing in the same amount of rent a one-bedroom apartment is going to bring in, but it's going to bring in a lot less hassle and a lot less cost to maintain it. So because of all those reasons, guys, I thought it made sense uh, to go a little bit off your target and send this to you because I thought you'd be very excited because the pros, in my opinion, far outweigh the cons. So if you guys like this deal, if this deal makes sense for you, reply to this private link and we will submit that offer on your behalf. If not, that's totally cool. Just provide me some additional feedback based upon the feedback I've given you. Now that you know going forward that it's going to be very rare you find uh, quads in our market, let me know if you're still very interested in those uh, or what's more important to you, right? Is it more important to you to get the big unit count or is it more important to you to stay in a particular asset class? Everybody else, if you watch this show and you're interested in possibly working with me and my team in the same way these folks have, uh, you can go to HoltonWise.com, click the sales uh, property for sale tab and then go down and click the MLS search and analysis show order yourself a package you could also click the show notes below or hell man keep it easy you could even send an email to my team sales at holdwise.com include your phone number we'll give you a call we'll talk to you about uh, you your business what you're trying to do and we can discuss how we can work together with you everybody else who might not necessarily be ready for that maybe you just got here because you googled real estate investing or something that's cool please do do yourself a solid smash that subscribe button and stick around because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.